What is up ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I turned too much. What is going on? Welcome back to World of Tanks. Today I am back with yet another epic battle episode, even though I wanted to make you yet another live gameplay episode because I had the super awesome and troll idea for that, but I am super limited on time. Because in about two hours I have to leave, I am going to visit my parents, so super hyped about that, and I decided to make a couple of episodes in front to you. So today it is 24th, I am going to say Merry Merry Christmas, but most likely Likely the time you are going to see this episode is either 25th or 26th, but it does not matter. Today you are going to see our newest tier 10 heavy tank in this game. AMX MLE or M4 MLE 54, tier 10 French heavy tank with no autoloader action system on its tank or on this tank. I received a lot of requests from you guys to see this tank in action or to see any other new French heavy tanks in action in epic battle episodes and this is why it is over here because not too many people have this tank in their garage already. Here in my garage just bought this uh, new... But a lot of you are grinding towards it. I tried to find one interesting battle for you to watch and I believe uh, full tier 10 matchmaking versus a lot of Russian heavy tanks. We have 5 IS-7s over here, object 260 as well i think this battle is going to be interesting for you to watch and uh, this battle uh, the main reason i wanted to show you this battle is because of the ending it is quite awesome and interesting and of course it is uh, nice to see how this tank uh, stacks up versus uh, russian heavy tanks is-7 and object 260 we have a lot of them over here as i mentioned before uh, this battle was played by z nice name ready z go Funny? <laughs> you serious? No? Okay, maybe, maybe just me. Actually, it was a little bit funnier when I thought about that, but not so funny after I said it out loud. So, Z on Himmelsdorf. He decided to come up the hill, which is actually a really good game plan, because if you look at the enemy team, uh, they have a lot of heavy tanks and a lot of tank destroyers. Only one medium tank, only patch at 25T. So I really do not understand how this new matchmaking is working over here. Enemy team has one medium tank, we have T62A, STV1 and TVP T5051 as well. Uh, I remember Wargaming says something about group matchmakings. If enemy team has medium tanks, your team is going to have medium tanks, or if your team has three medium tanks, enemy team should have three medium tanks as well, but only one medium tank, so go figure. On this map, I would say having a little bit more medium tanks than tank destroyers or heavy tank sometimes can be a good idea, because if you are able to win the hill with a lot of medium tanks super fast, you can flank all those tank destroyers, all those heavy tanks, and this is good for your team. But our medium tanks are down there in the east side of the map, uh, fighting with enemy heavies and TDs not in the best position, so I guess our 140 and the TVP are going down soon. Uh, one more shot needed into that IS-7, that shot was yet another bounce, but do not worry, our STB-1 is going to flank that IS-7 soon. And he picked up the kill, object 260 left, ooh, he was able to damage you as well, but luckily he kinda low rolled, uh, 418 damage received, and Z has bounced 2300 damage but only 600 HP left because his angling, his angling was not the best in many many situations. But final shot into the 260, uh, by the way he's using that 120 millimeter gun with 400 alpha damage. Uh, yet another option is 130 millimeter gun with uh, 560 alpha damage if I remember correctly but with a lot less penetration, especially on the premium rounds. Hello IS-7, good tracking shot and good roll. We have a couple of tank destroyers down here as well, for example that FE-4005, JPZ, Batcher over there, actually 140, yeah I wanted to say 140 is doing good job back there, but JPZ was able to pick up the kill. Nice revenge, sneaky shot into the JPZ, but only 337 damage done, but that JPZ is now a potential one shot. 
Z is trying to do some more sniping and he pounced Gorilla 15. And a little spoiler for you, that Gorilla 15 is most likely is going to be super super mad at the end of this battle. Why? Just wait and see. Just wait, watch and see. Uh, JPZ goes down, little high roll, needed. Uh, FV 45 is also rolling in and yet another kill in the bag and yet another bounce from Gorilla 15 and object 263. Panther Kampfwagen 7 trying to chase down our Gorilla 15. They catch up into the pooper. IS 7 is also sniping. Good hit. And enemy IS 7 is able to get away just in time. This guy doesn't even know how lucky he was. Most likely Z would have been able to put him on fire. All you have to do is you have to believe, but now I think it is time to reposition because our STB-1 and Gorilla-15 versus all those enemy tanks are not able to win the fight over there, 2 versus 4. And Panther Kampfwagen 7 has only 300 HP left, and Z is going to load in APCR rounds. Repositioning and while Z is actually repositioning, let's talk about Christmas. Was it awesome Christmas for you? Did you get a lot of presents? Awesome presents? What did you get for Christmas? Let me know in the comment section down below. Did you enjoy your holidays? I believe is actually the main and the most important question over here. Not presents. Visiting your family, staying with your close ones is the most important thing. But now let's get back into the action and let's focus on the gameplay. As expected, our STB-1 and Gorilla-15 went down, because being 2 vs 4, this is uh, never good for their health. Gorilla-15 is running in and yet another bounce, guys. This was bounce number 3 from that Gorilla-15. IS-7, good tracking shot, 393 damage done, come on IS-7, please finish him off and... Of course, he did hit the frontal blade that he was not able to penetrate and now low roll. 18 HP left on that IS-7, still 2 versus 3. 18 HP IS-7 is going to make nasty nasty mistake. Gorilla-15 once again is moving in, but he did put that shot into our IS-7. 263 is focusing us down, which is actually really good play by the 263. Good tracking shot into the Gorilla-15. Let's hope this guy doesn't have a repair kit. Seems like he actually doesn't have a repair kit, but a fairly decent repair crew. And yet another bounce from Gorilla 15. Oh my god, and now he almost rammed himself to death. But what can you do? 120 HP left on Z. Object 263 versus IS-7. Both are super crazy face-hugging tanks. But I believe 263 is a little bit better face-hugger because of that DPM difference. It is really hard to penetrate face-hugging IS-7, but most likely 263 was using APCR rounds. As we can see, he was doing exactly that. But now, being 1 versus 2, he had no option other to focus at someone. And we can see victory, happy Z over here with his mouse movement. So, what a battle and what an ending, really well played and as I said, most likely enemy Krilla 15 is going to be super mad, or is super mad. At the start of the battle, Z made actually a couple of mistakes, not angling his tank correctly. He showed too much his side armor, and side armor on MLA 54 is not the best. You have to face directly towards your enemies. And at the end of the battle, we saw exactly that. Facing towards your enemies, face hugging enemy vehicles, and they are not able to penetrate you without using premium rounds. And that uh, 263 at the end would have been able to penetrate. Z's gun mantle, I believe, with premium APCR. Anyway, let's see what Z was able to get for this battle. A stanker for obvious reasons, a lot of ribbons, uh, 35 bonds, really awesome to see 35 bonds over here, 2800 experience, 137k credits, a Spartan medal, high caliber, top gun and steel wall. That final kill, uh, final kill on 263 was his top gun. 9500 damage done, not a bad battle, 6 kills and close to 1600 raw experience. This is really high amount of raw experience because he was facing tier 10s only and with tier 10 vehicle to get high experience battles you have to face a lot of high tier vehicles uh, you are not able to with this damage uh, let's say uh, versus tier 8s versus tier 9s uh, he would have got uh, uh, for this kind of damage um, 
I think, around 1,200 experience or something like that. Anyway, 30 shots fired, 30 hits, 26 penetrations, 6,100 damage bounced. And all thanks to that Gorilla 15, who bounced either 4 or 5 shots in total. 6,100 damage bounced. Not bad. Heavy tank mission number 15 completed. Well done. Uh, what else interesting? Hits received 21, non penetrations 16, and he made a couple of thousand credits profit as well. So, Z, thank you for sharing this battle with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this battle today, and uh, I hope you enjoyed your holidays as well. For most of you, holidays are over, but for me, now I have to do some packing because, as I said, I am going to visit my parents for a couple days. And really excited about that because I haven't seen them for quite some time because of my vacation and all the rest of the things. Anyway, I thank you for tuning in today. I thank you for wasting your time over here with me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you are entertained as always. Take care and bye. And of course, click that like button and subscribe button if you enjoy my content. But now I spin away and I say goodbye.